Okay, so it's the night before um, the next great big set build. Uh, I'm on set waiting for uh, Phil to arrive with all his kit, but um, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to sort of show you around how everything's been set up. So this space here is for the um, what will be the stage, um, quite a big area, put a mat down there, some sort of attempt to try and keep the place tidy. We'll see what happens. It is actually easier, even though it, it still doesn't clear up all the mess, it does make a bit of a difference, so that's that. And then down here, we've got R2 Phil's stuff. He's going to be getting ready, getting all his bits and bobs there to work on the, uh, on the gun, on the big, uh, big gun thing there. Um, that crane's going to go tomorrow. That's uh, definitely going to go first thing in the morning. Uh, also, I've put lots of, of these boxes um, and the aim of these boxes is that uh, people will actually put rubbish in them. We'll see what happens. It's really important that they try and clean as they go because otherwise it's an absolute nightmare of stuff to sort out uh, at the end and it's, it's, it's a pain. My desk over there, because I do need a desk. I mean, it's not as big as the one in the Empress New Clones, but uh, it's all right. It's got internet access as well, which is really important. Um, and it's got my board up there of all the jobs that need to be done. So go look at the board. Should we look at the board? Okay. So at the moment, the list on the board is... Uh, oh, something came out. Uh, so pipe holders and paint. So basically the bits that hold all the pipes in the corridors and then they need to be painted. You need to attach the pipes and then paint them. I've got control boxes and they need to be painted too. There's a staging area, the big thing that Phil's going to build. And I've got six backpacks that need building as well. And in some ways it looks... It's kind of um, kind of simple, but it's actually that's a lot of work. Um, actually, if we get all that done, I'll be really impressed. So, we over here then. So all the pallets are pallets are still there, and all the woods waiting. And I've also put the these tubes are all being reserved for um, the corridor, so we put them to one side. And then moving along here, that's all the very important the uh, set rules. Very important. It is important. I mean, uh, respect the room. You know, we're guests here. We need to make sure that we keep the place um, tidy. Spillages is a big one. We really need to make sure there's no spillages. Cutting on tables, and people will do that if you don't tell them. We've got cutting boards. I'll show you those in a minute. But, yeah, you, know, you need to respect where we are. Um, clean as they go. Said that already. Food hygiene. Let's go over to the catering area. I'll show you that bit. So, basically, what am I talking about? Well, we're bringing sandwiches and stuff on set, but also... Uh, Sort of like a catering area, um, teapot and toast and kettle and all that kind of stuff. And people just, you know, you wouldn't believe the type of habits that people have on set. You know, they just think someone else is going to clean it, and that's not the case. So people need to watch themselves, look after the set area, look after the, the food area. Uh, very, very important. So going back to the uh, the rules. Yeah, so respect, respect the area, and then... Respect each other. It all sounds a bit lovey dovey. What we're trying to say is health and safety. Look out what's going on. Look around you. What's the, what the deal is. Um, they all get a health and safety brief as well. Um, you know, health and safety is not a big deal, actually. It's just telling people what to look out for and make sure that they understand what they're letting themselves in for and they're making their own decisions and they understand and they're being grown up about it. Okay? It's not about red tape just stopping people. Okay? So health and safety is fine. Um, respect other people's stuff. Sometimes people use other people's tools and things and then they break it. Um, it's like, oh, it's not mine, or they cut on someone else's stuff, something like that. You know, just think about it, it's someone else's stuff, you know, we're all meant to be a team here. It does happen, and this is all from experience. It's not a case of me thinking, oh, what kind of people we've got coming on set. It's just human nature, isn't it? You know, you, you ruin something, you break something by accident, then you don't say anything. Well, you know, if you break it, admit it, just say, look, I'm really sorry. And most people go, yeah, okay, mate, you know, that's the way it goes. That's fair enough. And the big one is, you know, if in doubt, ask. The amount of people keep saying, oh, I didn't know. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to do. Well, if you don't know, then ask, because then you do know, don't you? The last thing you want is when something goes wrong, people say, well, I didn't know if I should say anything. Well, you should have done. Lots of stuff there. Um, everything from electric power to makeup, cleaning gear, and all that kind of stuff, and tools, uh, and all that kind of stuff there. And moving over here have two areas. We're going to have the cardboard area. This is the cardboard zone. Um, we've got cutting table, uh, cutting boards, uh, and then what we've set up is here is that different things are being built, that made, and then they've all been put into separate piles. And no doubt they'll all get completely messed up 
Um, but you know, it's best effort at the end of the day, trying to make it look all right. That's that bit there. And then coming across. This here is the painting zone. So this is the idea where they're gonna paint the boards white and all that kind of stuff. So see how that, get, how that goes. Mm -hmm. And then stack them up over there while they dry and then we'll bring it back the next day. So there we go, that's the whole set. So you right down the other end, over there, and then all the way down to here. So yeah, it's pretty good, really good. Let's wait and see what happens.